So, what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. And just like that, God took away my sister. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So while we used to travel from world to world, we are now trapped here. How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone. Until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going!
depletes stamina, and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to a statue of the seven. Which of the seven are you looking for exactly? show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the Seven Gods? This god, Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the Animal God, but... Paimon will take you to the Animal God's place first, and there's a reason why. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it! of the seven there are a few of these statues scattered across the land among the seven gods paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the ant paimon will take you to the animal god's place first and there's a reason as we all know poetry and language flow like the wind there'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister at least that what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. <sighs> you can swim right over.
Did you just feel the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of Animo. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Uh-huh. It's because you're not from this world to begin with. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo. So perhaps, because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some... There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers and Paimon thinks... Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Who's there? Your hair, thanks. Just what was that? Paimon thought we were. Hmm. 
It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. <sighs> oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big... Let's go take a... Be careful! Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonia. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain your- well, We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name and this mascot. What's the deal with it? I mean, we've only been traveling part. We've already become the very best. So to sum it up, your trap. Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as- I give you my apologies, uh- That sounded so fake! Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of- At the ready! Suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Paimon is his travel buddy, helping him to find his sister. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first and then... <laughs> what exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit.
These monsters have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. To it. Though I've got to say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal, but because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around. 
When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer? Exactly. That said, clearing this, come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. By. What are you cooking? What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? No, we just happen to be passing by. What are you cooking? Smell. I see. I'm lit. Eat before picnic? Oh, my travel partner here is. That's okay. Let's see what you can. You won't get a. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. I'm 
I'm the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. 